What are some good ways for daddy doms to help their littles regress and stay in little space? Don't engage or ask your little to engage beyond the regressed state. If they're regressing to a state of being five years old, what is a five-year-old capable of doing or not? Engage with them in that regressed space. Guide and mirror their energy. We want to mirror their energy because part of little space is the abandonment. It's, I don't have to be an adult. I can be fully free and emotional and expressive. Daddy, mommy, look at my new stuffy. And you see that they're super excited about it. You bring them on your lap. Oh my goodness. <gasps> is that your new stuffy? Oh my goodness, it is so much cuter than I thought. Okay, what is his name? Have we named him yet? And then maybe get the stuffy and like give hugs and kisses to the stuffy, like mirror their energy when they're in that space. There are times to mirror, then there are times to guide, okay? So let's say the little had a really, really bad day. And so if they're fussy and they're kind of like on the border where they're like, hmm, kind of pouty and kind of little, but jumping back up into that adult space because they're still stressed and they're still anxious, that's a time for you to guide. Come here, come here, baby, come on. I know, I know you're fussy. I understand, come here, come on. And you hold them by the hand, lead them by their hand and you go get the stuffy or you go get a game or you go plop them down on the couch and put on a Disney movie and be like, I know, come here. We're gonna watch a movie. I want you to come over here, sit, come here. I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, there, good girl, come on. That makes sense. We're, we're guiding their energy. But once they're in the energy that either they really, really enjoy or you really, really enjoy or both, then foster it, mirror it back to them. So create a routine is what I was saying. You know, if you have a little, they're little, right? Like they're wanting the care, they're wanting the nurturing. And a lot of it is they're also wanting like, to be held in that space consistently, like, hey, help me with my schedule, help me with my time, et cetera. So I would say, I'm absolutely create a routine. Six skills that I think are very helpful. Number one, presence, noticing shit, <laughs> noticing things, okay? Not just noticing like things about the environment, the day, the energy, but like AMP was saying, noticing the cues, noticing the triggers of your little, the cues of your little, all of that, notice get present number two acts of care and when they're reverting when they're regressing they're looking to be taken care of so cooking them food eating them washing their hair brushing their hair picking out their clothes getting them dressed acts of care being willing and capable of doing that on a consistent basis uh, patience is a big one. Patience, patience, patience. Because what I've experienced from a lot of littles is this is an opportunity for littles to express themselves in a way that they don't feel free to express themselves as an adult. Little space gives me the permission to be fully silly. And I don't have to censor myself and go, what would be the appropriate way for me as an adult to feel silly? It's taking off the honestly, the the cultural shame. And it's really infusing that just because you're an adult, you can still be playful. So that the little feels like they're not being pushed or rushed, that they're being held in that patience and that you can you can do your thing. You know, I'm not putting an agenda on you. I'm not, I'm not going to get short with you. I'm not going to just jump to judgment. Another one, tenderness. Tenderness, like literally physically tender, forehead kisses, cheeks, you know, strokes, hair pats and head pats and running your hands through their hair, nurturing acts, calling them over, pulling them on your lap, holding them close to your chest, rocking them in your arms, nurturing acts of tenderness. Um, then consistency. Again, when you have someone who is so open and vulnerable and really looking to you for care, consistency, this is consistency in your character dominance, consistency in your care, consistency in 
the next point I'm throwing out, which is clear and simple communication. Not long explanations, short thoughts, short sentences, clear, simple communication. And finally, and this is a big one, emotional intelligence slash emotional support. Just the experience of being a child is so vulnerable. You're completely dependent and you're curious at the same time, at least healthy in healthy environments. And so that is the energy that your little is engaging in. They're engaging in this, I am down here looking at a big world. And I feel so small and I'm allowing myself to feel small by the world. And I'm allowing myself to embrace a feeling of freedom feeling small. And whatever comes out is okay when I feel small. Emotional intelligence, emotional support. 